Yo guys, Armory Channel. I guess you already know that. I don't know why I say that. I'm not saying that no more. Uh, don't get too excited. I know you see all these guns here, but uh, this is just. I just want to make a point with these guns. And before I do that, I'm having a, a debate with uh, Build More Fences. He says his his ass is hairier than mine, and there's no way, dude. Your ass is not hairy or mine. Okay. You need one of those fucking one of those fucking weed whacker grass hogs to get to my ass. Uh another thing. Speaking of uh speaking of hair, I have to go here, I can't help it. As far as women go, I don't like any hair on women. I was talking to some guy about that. And uh, I think a woman's rosebud, let's call it that. Let's not get too dirty, let's call it a rosebud. I think a woman's rosebud should have no hair on it at all. Not even a landing strip, no Hitler mustache, nothing. Should be no hair, that's the way I like it. It's got, it should look like a piece of bubble gum. You know what I mean? Like a wet chicken, that's it. That's what it should look like. Okay, I hope no girls are watching. I doubt it. This video is going to be about... Uh, first, I make a, a point here. I'm all fucked up. I'm going all over the place. This is, this is uh, a message to a guy that does unfair gun reviews. Okay? And uh, this is how you review guns, dude. This is a Sig Sauer. This is a HK. They're both $800. They're both high-end guns they're both you know special forces FBI or whatever you don't see your uh, too many of uh, regular law enforcement's walking around with this in this holster because they're expensive I ain't saying all officers some of them do some of them some of them do live in a cool state lets them use them but mostly these are for like you know higher-end services and stuff you know what I mean? Now most cops walk around with these. A Glock, Springfield XD, $600, $600. That's how you compare guns. These are on the same shelf. These are the same quality guns. You compare a Glock with an XD? Yes. Do you, pair, do you compare a Glock with a SIG? Fuck no. Fuck no. This is, this is uh, by machining and quality and durability leaps and bounds and light years beyond this sorry that's the truth this is a fucking 800 hour gun man it's a, it's a Sig Sauer okay in the long run this is the one now you compare this with that this is the same quality as the Sig Sauer the HK okay that's that's what you compare guns these two you can compare, Springfield X Day and the Glock. They're both great goats. But you don't compare a Glock with a Sig. What the fuck is wrong with that dude, man? That's what I think. That's my opinion, man. I don't do that. Sorry. Is a is a Glock better than a Sig? No way. Is a Glock an awesome gun? Yes. But it's not better than a Sig. So if you're one of those guys that are just Glock and you only buy Glock. Don't get offended. That's cool. You got you got good taste. You getting Glocks? You got you're getting a good gun. Glocks are awesome, but they're not on the on the sh on the same level as a Sig or even an HK. There is reasons, and I can give you some I can give you some reasons, but this video ain't long enough. Okay, all you have to do is read read your manuals. You'll see why one gun is a higher quality gun than the other. Will they both shoot all the time? Yep. Are they both reliable? Yup. This is the most accurate gun on the table right here. To me, th th when I fire it, this one, the Sig Sauer P229, or any Sig Sauer really, with the exception of the P239, I wasn't too crazy about that one, but this P229 outshoots all three of these, and I will prove it to you when I go to the range, we will bring this Sig. Okay. 
Okay, it's not fair to compare it to this because this is a 45, but if this was a 40, trust me, it, it, would, it would definitely uh, be more accurate. Uh, this video is about how I make videos. A lot of guys are saying, dude, your videos are real clear. Well, like I said, it's not just the camera. It's not just the camera, man. You got to have good lighting. You got to have... I use the color blue because the blue works the best. If I show you, I'll show you right now and prove it to you that the blue works the best. Okay, look at the gun. Okay. See how you can see everything? Now if I get... Pull this away. If I put white down, and this ain't real white, it's kind of dirty, it's yellow. But if, if you get real white and you put the gun, the gun looks too black, you can't see all the detail. But when you take the white away and use the blue, you can see all the detail. Same with this, I've tried all the colors. I put orange down. Look. Alright. The gun's just too black. It's too much. Blue. Blue is the color you use. If you ever if you ever see movies in animation, there's always they always start with a blue background all the time. Because it's the best color. It just it it doesn't absorb too much light. Like if I put white on there, all the light goes whoosh, right to the white, and then the gun's too black. Even yellow, I tried all colors. So if you have blue rug or something that's like baby blue, you put this down and uh, you do your reviews, you'll be able to see everything a lot better. Okay. Uh, I will be bringing this gun next to the range, the Six Hour 40 229. I really want to show you what it can do. It's just an amazing amazing weapon it really is it's heavy yes yes does the Glock the Glock's what the Glock has over a lot of guns it's light it's light and it's real accurate you know but the SIG has some weight to it like I said you hear that fucking siren listen to that you hear that fucking thing what the fuck is wrong with Pennsylvania man are we behind in times of what that sounds like the fucking Germans are coming. That siren goes off every time there's a fire somewhere. They can find a fire anywhere. A fucking little car can be on fire. That stupid siren goes off. Now what if there was an emergency, like a nuclear war, and the siren went off? Everyone would be like, uh, it's probably another fire. That's that stupid ass town I live in. Anyway, these are my favorite handguns that I have. I hate to say one's better than the other. I really do because they're all excellent they're so nice what I'm missing one they're so nice man look at these SIG Glock Springfield XD HK that's as good as it gets okay if you have any of these weapons you got yourself a beautiful firearm okay so no one's saying anything's better than any other it's just you know the SIG and the HK are just a little bit notch a notch up in quality than, than the Glock and the uh, Spring, Springfield. The Glock and the Springfield are designed to work and be reliable no matter what like an AK-47 you know what I mean but they're very accurate too but the HK and the SIG are extremely accurate extremely like they're like an they're like a um, a precision instrument you know what I mean that's the best way I can explain it to you because I don't want you to think I'm putting any of these guns down I wouldn't have any of these guns if I didn't think they were any good I only like the best and these are it okay which is the exception of someday I'll have a Dan Wesson or a 1911 or an Ed Brown 1911 I mean, I, you're talking a lot of money there three grand for a fucking pistol but uh these are the top notch here. So let me know if this, if the uh, the video, like I said, I have a light here, I have a light here, I have the bedroom light on, I have the blue background. The blue background, I think, is the key. I have an HD camera, and uh, if you have all that, your videos will look your videos will look beautiful. Okay, that's it.